Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. When did, do either one of you remember when the name changed from the hookers to Vanity 6 and how that happened? Um, well, I, I have a little bit of a... I don't know. Yeah, Denise didn't want to be called. Well, when we talked about it, it was like the hookers was a little too much. Yeah, and mm. and he wanted to name her. Vagina, yeah, he wanted uh, he wanted vagina. to name her vagina, vagina yeah. and she said no, and then it went from <laughs> vagina to vanity, and mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. I think that's how it ended up, vanity six. Which yeah, was but. kind of much. Um, it seemed more natural. Yeah, and, um, because it was. Um, she had had a modeling career mm-hmm. up to that point, and she had been doing some acting. Mm-hmm. She had done a few movies and liked doing that. And she had um, a pretty lucrative mm-hmm. act, um, modeling career. Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> the thing with vanity, the beauty, mm-hmm. the yeah. modeling, mm-hmm. you know, it all seemed like to kind of go together. And... Um, and I think we were all getting a little bit concerned. You asked about, you know, the lyrics mm-hmm, kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Nasty Girl was the first song that we did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's when I showed up on Kiowa at his house. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is, he had already been in the studio working on that. Mm-hmm. And she had done some of the lyrics, you know, mm-hmm. you know, for the lead. We hadn't really started doing some of the background vocals yet. Yeah. And, um, when I heard it, I went. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not approved by anyone. <laughs> when I heard it, I went. Are we going to be able to get away with this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we would. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and because at that time it was just you know there was a lot of stuff that went on in the '60s and '70s mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. free love and you know burn the bra and you know all kinds of things. But yeah. when you were just getting explicit down into something like this yeah. for the general public, yeah. It was. It really was kind of controversial. Yeah, and it was actually goes into my next question: was Was there a fear from anybody about the sexual image mm-hmm. of the group, the lingerie, and the? Was there any fear, or was it kind of fearless? You just got to just no. Just it was do fearless it. for me because okay. it was like we're we're making a statement mm-hmm. here. We're women, and we even though we wear lingerie, we mm-hmm. still need to be taken seriously. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's how it is anyways. Whether yeah. I have clothes on or not, I'm going to tell you how it is going to be. That's you know, right. <laughs> This that's is right. it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so he said, this is it. We're going to put lingerie on, but we're going to be us, right? Ooh, we're going to yeah. say what we have to say. Yeah. He said women feel a certain way at a certain age, and mm-hmm. we're going to sing about it. Mm-hmm. Say, okay. <laughs> yeah, <I> was, <laughs> me being the older one, <laughs> I, um, I, I did have some concern that uh, it wasn't so much about us – you know, that I was going to have to do this. Mm-hmm. There's a part of me that, you know, felt, well, maybe some things should stay behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. But at the, at the other, on the other end of that spectrum, you know, to take this and be bold and to say, you know, I mean, sex sells. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the things that we talked about in early interviews with Vanity mm-hmm. Six. Sex sells, no matter what. You look at a commercial on, you watch television and... Yeah. Three out of five commercials were going to have something that a product that was being sold mm-hmm. that was using a, a beautiful woman, mm-hmm. or there was some kind of a sex appeal yeah. mm-hmm. that was being used mm-hmm. to help sell the product. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, it's why keep it a secret, yeah. or why not talk about it? Yeah. Um, you know, there are were groups of people out there that would just you know like. You're gonna go burn in hell mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for what you're talking. Well, for what you're doing, but we were, yeah. we took it by the horns and we were bold about it and um, just said, you know, this is it. This is matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah. Our, yeah. Our, uh, no, I always said, well, okay, I got lingerie on. What about the people on the beach that hardly have anything on? Mm-hmm. So now right. mm-hmm. try right. and try and fight that with me because you're not gonna win. Yeah. People were less on the beach. I, yeah. That's the mm-hmm. conversation I had with my mother because mm-hmm. you know she went crazy when I had to do this, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, you live in an island and mm-hmm. you go to the beach and they're half naked. Right. And they're fine with that. But I'm on stage and I'm doing a job. Right. I'm trying to make a statement. So what, are you going to argue with me? I mean, I'm not doing this. I'm not going out there and sitting on the street trying to make some money. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm working. Yeah. So, so then she started to look at it in a different way. And I'm like, 
Oh, okay. So, so young and so damn logical. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fighter. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's an old soul. Yes. yes. Yeah. Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6.